Hey everyone, it's Everything Ape here. In today's video, I am going to be doing a speed test between Windows 8.1 with absolutely no updates at all on the left and Windows 8.1 fully updated on the right. Some people I know claim that Windows updates are designed to slow down your system, so I wanted to see if that was true, and hence I made this speed test. This was mostly inspired by another YouTuber named Triggerzolt who made his own speed test series. If you want to check it out, I'll have it linked in the cards, and thanks to Triggerzolt for the idea of this video. The specs for this machine are as follows. It has an AMD A10-5750M CPU, followed by 8 gigs of RAM and a 200 gigabyte HDD. I had no free SSDs available at the time, so that's why I used an HDD. It also has an AMD Radeon HD 8750M, but that's not really important to the speed test. Alright, so jumping straight into the speed test, I wanted to see which machine started up faster. So you can see I tried to start them up at the same time, uh, but there was the battery alert message, so it was kind of hard aligning it. But eventually I did get it working, and uh, you can see that they're both loading into Windows. Now, I don't know why this happened, but um, the one without the updates actually booted way faster. We're talking like a 30 second difference between both computers. And I don't know, again, like I said, I don't know why this happened, but um, yeah, it was so much faster booting. You could have already been at the desktop by the time the fully updated computer already booted. This was probably because, actually, I do kind of know why this happened. This was probably because I forced shut off these computers and they didn't probably didn't get forced shut off at the right time for both. So that's why this computer, um, but anyway, you can see that the one on the left, of course, is first. And then I had to speed up the footage on the right because it was taking so long. But eventually you do see that it ends up powering on. And yeah, there you go. They're both on the login screen. So next up, I wanted to test what login speeds look like. So I both I hit enter on both computers. And this time, actually, the fully updated computer did better launching to the desktop first whereas the thing followed it shortly after, like a couple of seconds after, so not too big of a difference to actually validate it. Okay, so starting off with Notepad, you can see it opens slightly faster on the updated computer, and yeah, I spit, slowed it down so you can see. Then going on with uh, WordPad, it was a different result with the computer on the left actually opening it faster. And then on the calculator, it was basically the same thing, uh, with the computer on the left opening it faster. And MS Paint, it was again the not updated computer opening it faster. Next, I wanted to test media consumption because, of course, you don't use your computer for just daily tasks. So I decided to open a video on both. And as you can see, it loaded uh, like a few seconds faster on the non updated computer. I decided to also try it on VLC. Now, the computer on the left, I hadn't initialized VLC yet, so it gave me a message, but we could assume that it would have been at least a few seconds faster than the computer on the right. Okay, right, so next I decided to open an mp3 file, and as you can see, the computer on the right just barely beat out the left. Next, I wanted to try installing Firefox on both PCs. Now, I actually didn't fully uninstall Firefox, which is why it's showing that message on the right computer, on the computer on the right. But anyways, the computer on the right installed it way faster, probably because it was already installed and downloaded and stuff. So, kind of an unfair test, but yeah, you can see how much faster the computer on the right plows through the test. And... Um, yeah, so I'll just wait for the test to finish, and I tried to get these right. I didn't know that I would. I I didn't know that I didn't uninstall these programs incorrectly. So that's why the computer on the right was able to boot up faster than the computer on the left, or that's why the computer on the right was able to install Firefox faster than the computer on the left. So after quite a long time, you can see that it says you have new apps that can open web pages, and it shows the prompt after you reinstall the browser. But anyways, it launches the browser a whole lot faster as well, I think. And you can see I even had enough time to refresh the computer on the right. That's how, how slow the computer on the left is going. So next I decided to try and load up YouTube. And it was basically around the same time. Keep in mind that I did have a millisecond of difference between the two computers. So that's why um, and it's, you know, slightly slower on the left computer than it was is on the right computer. I keep on referring to the left, but of course I mean the computer not updated and the computer that is updated. Next I decided to try Office applications. So you can see starting off with Microsoft Word, I decided to go with Office 2010 for whatever reason. And you can see both are loading and the one on the left actually loaded just a couple of seconds faster. So not a huge difference there. Next we're gonna do uh, PowerPoint. Now this test was a bit kind of uh, unfair because the one on the left opened it 
uh, clicked a bit faster so we could just assume that was also that would also be a bit faster as well next we'll do excel and as you can see a couple of seconds faster but not enough difference to actually justify not updating your computer and finally we did adobe acrobat and the one on the left didn't even launch because of a dll missing issue this is likely because it was missing some files in the kernel because it wasn't updated whereas the one on the right uh, opened it and actually got to the PDF and that's why I think it's so important that if something's not working on your computer always try and update it because it may be because of that that it wouldn't launch. I decided to try it on reader instead and as you can see they both loaded it around the same time but and um, yeah. So then next I decided to try copying a file to a USB so I decided to try copy an ISO file that was like two or three gigs in size so it took quite a long time at, for both to copy. I think it took like around four or five minutes maybe, but uh, you can see I had to actually speed up the footage here. And um, you can kind of tell that I'm moving around the background because I was a bit busy while trying to film both of these computers. And essentially this, um, basically these, these two both copied at the same file transfer rate of around 10.5 uh, megabits a second, which is a pretty decent transfer rate if, I, if I'm being honest. Uh, it's not anything to like write home about, but it's definitely all right if you're, you know, trying to speed test this. And of course, the uh, computer on the right actually finishes the test first, uh, followed by the computer on the left. And um, it's it's quite a few seconds of difference, but so yeah, it's enough to start the test again. And yeah, basically yeah. So then next, I decided to do a malware byte scan on both of these computers, just a quick scan because I didn't want to wait around for a full scan and I don't have that much storage on my iPhone anyways. I think I have like 64 gigs. And as you can see, I've, I of course cut it, but basically the computer on the left was at least a full 15 to 20 seconds faster. And then uh, after a while, the computer on the right finally finished up with um, uh, just 15 or 20 seconds behind in the malware scan. So not too big of a difference, like I said. And yeah, that's the end of this video. So as you can see, there really is no point in uh, not updating your computer. You'd not be missing out on too much speed. This, these are pretty low end hardware, so the difference would be even faster. I mean, even less if you were on maybe like an Intel computer. So the moral of the story is update your computers. And yeah, that's all I have to say for this video. If you did like it, then comment, like, and subscribe. And if you didn't like it, then don't comment, don't like, and don't subscribe. And I'll see you all next time.